starting a rainy day fund is an important step in achieving financial stability. A rainy day fund is a savings account that you can access in case of an emergency, like a job loss or unexpected medical expenses. Here's how you can create one. Determine your emergency fund goal. Start by figuring out how much money you would need to cover your living expenses for three to six months. Decide where to keep your emergency fund. A high-yield savings account is a good option, as it offers easy access to your funds and a relatively high interest rate. Make a budget and determine how much you can set aside each month. You can start small and increase the amount as your financial situation improves. Automate your savings. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your emergency fund each month. Use your emergency fund only for emergencies. Don't use the money for anything other than true emergencies, like a job loss or unexpected medical expenses. Avoid dipping into your emergency fund. If possible, try to find other sources of funds, like a part-time job, before dipping into your emergency fund. Increase your contributions as you can. As you receive raises or pay off debts, consider increasing your contributions to your emergency fund. Review your emergency fund regularly. Make sure you are on track to reach your goal and adjust your contributions as needed. Understand your spending habits. Before starting a rainy day fund, it's important to understand how much you are spending on regular expenses and how much you can afford to set aside each month. This will give you a good idea of how much you need to save to have a healthy rainy day fund. Determine the right amount. The right amount to save in your rainy day fund depends on several factors, including your monthly expenses, your level of debt, and your overall financial goals. A good rule of thumb is to have three to six months worth of expenses saved. Set up automatic savings. Once you have a clear idea of how much you need to save, set up automatic savings so that money is transferred from your checking account to your rainy day fund each month. This will help you reach your goal faster and make sure that you are consistently saving. Consider different savings accounts. There are different savings accounts available, including traditional savings accounts, high-yield savings accounts, and money market accounts. Choose the one that best fits your needs and provides you with the highest interest rate. Avoid dipping into your fund. It's important to not use your rainy day fund for non-emergency expenses. This will help you build up your savings and give you a cushion for unexpected expenses. Consider investments. While a rainy day fund is primarily for emergency expenses, you may also want to consider investing some of the money in low-risk investments such as bonds or mutual funds. This can help you grow your savings over time while still keeping it accessible in case of an emergency. Monitor your progress. Regularly check your rainy day fund balance to make sure you are on track to reach your goal. If you find that you are falling behind, adjust your automatic savings or consider cutting back on expenses to free up more money to put into your rainy day fund. Make it a priority. Building a rainy day fund should be a top financial priority. Start small and gradually increase the amount you save each month until you reach your goal. With discipline and a little effort, you can have a healthy rainy day fund to protect you in case of an emergency. By following these steps, you can create a solid rainy day fund that will give you peace of mind and financial stability in the event of an emergency.